So the next test that we're going to do is what's called an electronic precipitation test. Now, I do want to caution you. A lot of our competitors like to use this next test as a scare tactic. And I use the word test kind of cautiously because it's not so much of a test as it is a demonstration. And really, it demonstrates to you that purified water doesn't conduct electricity very well. It's actually the stuff in water that enables an electrical current to move about, and we're going to demonstrate that to you using two aluminum rods, two iron rods. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one. So we just place two rods into each glass here. And I want you to notice, you'll see how the aluminum rod in the tap water glass, which is this one, is already having a reaction here with the water. Whereas the aluminum rod in our purified water, even though I rinsed my fingers off in it and the dollar bill off in it, still doesn't have much of a reaction. Now, everything that you're about to see in the water is not necessarily in the water. Some of it is being pulled off of the iron rod because of the conductivity of the tap water versus the conductivity of the purified water. You follow me? Okay. So really it's just a conductivity demonstration. Okay. I want to make that crystal clear. So if anybody else shows you this test and tries to say, oh my goodness, look at the stuff in your water, then you can discount anything else that you're there telling you. Okay. But it is a great visual depiction of how much more conductive tap water is versus the purified water. Make sense? Yes. We're going to let this one run for about three or four minutes and then we're gonna come back and take a look at it in just a second. The, the total dissolved solids, that 682 parts okay. per million of stuff, what it's doing is it's using that to conduct electricity and it's pulling iron off the rod. So really okay. most of what you're seeing up here is actually iron from the iron rod. Right. It's not actually stuff that's in the water, okay. um, but it it's a, it's a great visual demonstration of what total dissolved solids is and does. So even in the purified water, you'll notice it has a little bit of a discoloration to it. And the reason being is again, I rinsed my fingers off in it and I also rinsed the dollar bill off in it. Yeah. So if it was just purified water, you would notice that it didn't uh, have the discoloration. Yeah. Now the tap water you'll notice is starting to boil because again, pure water is not a very good conductor of electricity. It's the stuff in the water that enables electrical current to move about. So if you wrap your hand around this glass, you'll see how it's nice and cool. Now just touch the other one, but be careful because it is very, very hot. Right? So there you go. Okay? Big difference there. Big difference. Huge difference. It just shows you the conductivity of purified water versus the conductivity of tap water.